right, remove screws. Now there it is. Take the head, set it aside. All right, so these little motors are like five, six bucks. They're AC motors. Uh, we'll take this apart and see how I did this. All right. uh, we got one holding it onto the shaft. I have one holding the insides in. Well, it doesn't hold it in, but it acts as a stop. That's got to come out. So now we come loose. This is basically it. Got a thrust washer on the top. And these motors, when they hit resistance, will automatically reverse. So what I did was I designed this piece here with stops about 270 degrees, I'm guessing. Um, so that screw will ride in this area here until it hits a certain spot wherever I design it or set it. And then it'll reverse back to the other side and hit that side and go back and forth. That's what goes back and forth. So then I've got just enough play in this thing so that um, depending on how it wiggles and shakes, even though there's a thrust bearing up here, the bottom will still kind of rub sometimes and create a little bit of resistance. So that gives you, a, it'll, it'll read that from time to time and it'll flip back the other direction. So um, you get the, the, the random effect per se, um, depending on if this thing, how bad this thing's shaking around up there or whatever. Sometimes it'll do a short back and forth. Sometimes it'll do the full length and just kind of hit and miss. And um, I actually just glued this inside this one is the length for the Inferno. And then I have another one with the length, the certain length, which is shorter for the Skelly. But pretty simple design. Doesn't take a whole lot. And that's pretty much it. Put your screw back in the shaft, put your screw back in on the back and Put it back in the skelly, it's good to go. Easy on, easy off. And that's how I made that one, pretty simple.